What up, everybody? It's Toff. Today, we're going to be talking about one of my favorite programs. I use this program on my phone all the time to make beats. Super simple. It's called Caustic. You can download it on the App Store, or you can download it on your computer. If you download it on your computer, it's free. If you download it on the App Store, I think it's like $7, which really isn't, isn't very much. They have some pretty good tutorials. They have a pretty good manual. I'm going to show you guys how I use this to make beats. And let's go. So when you first open it, you're going to see this thing. And then we're going to click here on this menu. And it's going to show our tempo, our time signature, scale. It's not so important. Shuffle is not so important. You got a couple of other options here, but I would just leave all those how they are. You can save all that stuff. So we're going to click this back arrow. And now we're going to go to this grid. Now this is where you can put your instruments. So if I click on this number one, we're going to get this screen where we got all of these different guys. So the first guy I'm going to use is this beatbox, which is just a drum machine. Click on beatbox. Click on it again. All right. Now we can select a kit. I'm going to use this 808 right here. So now we got an 808. If I click this, I got a kick drum, snare, hat, open hi-hat. I don't like this open hi-hat so much. I wish it went for a longer amount of time. It's a little short. So I'm going to click on these three dots, go parent, presets, beatbox, and I'm going to grab this open hat right here, load. So now I have a different hi-hat in here. It's longer. I'm turn the volume down on it a little bit, a little bit more, turn it, tuning it up a little bit. So that it matches this a little bit more. If we want it to choke, we want it to stop when we play this hi-hat, we can go up here. No, nope, not there, sorry. Here. And we got mute groups, so I want the hi-hats only to play one at a time. I'm going to put them in the same group. And then when I play this, it's open. And as soon as I play this, it stops. So now I got this all set up. You can swipe up to get to this sequencer. Now if I press play, you're going to see this thing coming across the screen. And you can just tap in instruments where you want them. One, two, three, four. I'm going to put a kick drum on the first beat. Boom. Boom. Snap. Boom. Snap. If you want to move stuff around, you can click it and drag it. can delete notes. They've also got this grid thing up here where you can make it twice as long, extend it to two measures. So then you can make a longer pattern. Snare. Make sense? So now we got that. That's our basic pattern. Now you got this up here. This is going to give you a bunch of different stuff. If you click on two, we got another pattern. So I can make this pattern just this. Back to the other pattern. And there's actually, we'll get into this in a little bit, but there's a pattern sequencer. So I can make this be the second pattern. I can make this be the first pattern. If I put it on song instead of pattern, it'll play this. So now we're going to have the first pattern, second pattern. Make sense? And then it'll loop. So let's go back to pattern because we just want to work with one pattern at a time for right now. 
and let's put another instrument in here. I'm going to click on this number two. My favorite ones, just so you know, I like this guy, I like this guy, I like this guy, I like this guy. <clears throat> Sometimes I use the sub synth for bassy stuff. But let's get a cool bass going. I'm going to click on this PCM synth. You got presets. So I'm going to go to... What do I want to try? I definitely want a bass. So let's see what this one sounds like. You gotta you can go octave down over here. Make sense? You can also record stuff. One, two, three, four. And it'll repeat whatever you recorded. It's down here. You can also click notes in and move them around just like a regular MIDI grid. So that's a cool pattern. Now let's go to another instrument. I'm going to choose this guy. Select a preset. I'm going to use these. Um, let's see what this is like. beatbox. You can switch patterns again. I'm going to go to this guy. All right, now this instrument is one of my favorite instruments. It literally comes up with a math equation and makes a note based on the math equation. They usually sound real weird. I'm gonna use this angry robot one. If you go down a bunch of octaves. That one doesn't really work very well. Let me find... Yeah, cool stuff like that. You can put a note in. If you click on size, you can make the note longer. So I'm going to make the note just go a whole measure. All right, I'm going to swipe back up here to my 8 bit synth. I'm going to turn the volume down a little bit. So on this page, we got a master volume and we got a couple of effects. There's a reverb and a delay and a limiter and an equalizer. And then over here, we've got the mixer. If I push play, you can see that we got all of our instruments right here. This is the weird 8-bit synth. This is our... This is the bass. So you can tweak the sounds a little bit. And put a delay on.
and then you could just go about adding on a bunch more instruments. There's also an effects section where you can take one of these, let's take this guy, and put any of these effects on it that you want. So I'm going to put a chorus on here. Let me go back to the mixer real quick and solo that guy. Go back to the effects, press play. Sounds pretty cool. All right, so now what we can do is we can go to this sequencer. We got this intro right here. You can move stuff around too. So I'm gonna have two bars of intro, and then I'm gonna have four bars of music. So I don't want the bass to come in right away. I definitely want this to come in right away. You can also grab this guy and stretch it out so that it loops. That's an easy thing to do also. You can delete stuff. I'm going to stretch this guy out. All right, so now what do we have? If we click on song, it'll play the song. So we want the bass to come in right here. Stretch that out. And I'm gonna put this 8-bit synth in right here. And actually, I'm gonna make this a little different. I'm gonna go back to this guy, swipe up, grid. I'm gonna make this twice as long. So I'm gonna stretch this note out. Yeah. Go back to the sequencer and delete this. And you gotta unclick that. Click it back in here. Okay. Stretch them out. Boom. Now see what we got. Does that make sense? So you can make these little patterns. And how many patterns do we have? We've got four times 16. That's a lot of patterns. So you can really make something really complicated if you want to. If you want to get really into it, you can do really cool stuff with the effects. The sequencer can go kind of as long as you want. If you want it to be, you know, 100 bars long, you just got to keep putting stuff in here and it'll get longer and longer. And you can really make an entire song just on your phone using some pretty awesome synthesizers. The synths are really cool. It's even got like a modular synthesizer that does like all this fancy stuff where you're plugging all these things out, you know, and doing making really weird sounds that you can really tweak all by yourself. I'll do a video just about this at some point because this is one of the coolest things that this thing has and it's pretty complicated. So you can really, you can use more than 14 instruments, actually. You can use as many as you want. It'll just pop another mixer down here once you get over eight. So each of these mixers has eight channels. And if you make more than eight channels, it'll just make another mixer right here. And I think you can have up to 24, 24 instruments going at the same time. Same thing with the effects. If you add more instruments, it'll just add another page of effects. Now the things to watch for is whether you're in song mode or whether you're in pattern mode, especially when you're working on stuff. Like if I was working on this beatbox and I was in song mode and I was looking at the MIDI, it would play this guy. If I was working on this guy, then it would switch to the other guy. So if you're working on a pattern, make sure you're in pattern mode down here. If you want to get real complicated with it, you can plug MIDI into this thing. If you go here and you go MIDI, 
you could plug a keyboard into this. It gets a little complicated, but you could figure it out. The other thing you can do is you can export it. So if we go export, you can put a file name in there. Uh, Toff song stems mixer. So this will give you a file for each instrument. So I'll have a file. I'll have a file that's all of these sounds. I'll have a file that's all of these sounds, all of these sounds, all of these sounds, so that then I can export it, put it into Logic, and mix it correctly, which is what I do. And I have a bunch of these beats just waiting to be used. I'm probably going to come out with a beat tape called Beats I Made on My Phone. And I made them all with this program. And it's pretty cool. It's pretty powerful. Check it out. It's free. If you just go to their website and download it on your computer, it's free. It's a little weird to use because it was made for a touch screen, but since we're just using it with our hands, which since we're just using it with our mouse, sometimes the dragging and the pinch to zoom type stuff doesn't work very well, but you should be able to get around pretty good. You can save projects, you can make as many as you want. Yeah, super fun, super powerful program, caustic. Caustic.